wanted to make a quick video that covered uh, a file package, what we call pack and go file in Gibbs Cam. I want to cover kind of what it does and uh, the best times to use it. So here we see we have this this pretty complex part. It has you know some pretty complex tool paths. You can see there's a bunch over here. There's a bunch of tools. There's a lot that's kind of attached to this file, right? If I was to send this off to a colleague, um, I would want to make sure that he had all of this, the tools, the post processor, um, all of the tool paths, obviously, the machine model, things like that. So instead of just sending him the part and then trying to follow up with um, all of the appropriate files, in GibbsCam 12, um, we included something called pack and go and let me show you that really quick so what I want to do is I want to take this again and send it to a colleague so I'm going to come up here to the upper left and hit file and right here exchange is import export pack and go so I'm gonna hit pack and go all right so here's a list of all of the things that are included inside of a pack and go file you can see machine sim post processor all that stuff you can just say all files or you can select files now please note this is very important Post processors um, are not to be shared because they're yours and they are assigned to you. So please be careful. Only share post processors um, internally in your organization and uh, not externally. So here are the selected files. So I'm going to say all files, create package. This is where it's going to go. Just save. There we go. So now opening up a Gibbscam package file. So I'm going to go up to file. And we can see here, we can either just say open and select a package file, which the, actually let me show you, the extension for that is GCPKG for Gibbs Cam package file. It's the second one down if we go all the way up. So we can just navigate to there and open it. But we also, if we've opened package files in the past, the recent ones that we opened are across the top here. So let me go ahead. I'm going to open up one here. I'm going to show you a, a little window that pops up and what to do when it does. So here's the, um, here's the pop-up that I'm talking about. It says, okay, so I'm opening up a package file. One thing the package file includes is any changes to the interface that the original creator made. So if I say no, it's going to keep my interface. Now, if I say yes, it's going to take all the changes to that interface and apply them to this session. So you can see I did that. I got a whole bunch of buttons up here. Some things are changed. Um, if you want to keep it the way that you like it, just hit no on that. So there's something else that I wanted to show you too that's actually pretty slick with uh, Gibbs Cam package files. A Gibbscam package file is basically, well, it is a zip file just with a different extension. I'm going to make a copy of this one. So you can see I have copy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the extension to .zip. It's going to give me a little warning. Do I want to change it? I sure do because I just watched Chris's video and he told me to do it. So. Here's copy.zip. So what we can do now, um, let me open up Gibbs Cam real quick. So you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and close this file out. Now what I can do, let me move this over a little bit, is I can take this file that's zip and just drag it right into the window. And what that does is that places all the appropriate files in the appropriate places. You can see all of the extracted files. So this is the machine model, um, the post, all that stuff goes where it's supposed to go. So I can just click OK. And that way I'll have the machine model and other parts of that job in, uh, in my computer. So next time I open it up, I'll have all the machines and stuff there. So if you have any questions about sending files or Gibbs Camp package files in general, please feel free to reach out to your local reseller or just give us a call at Gibbs Camp Technical Support. Thank you so much.